And so uh, that's why I say in the Bible, love is not basically a feeling. It's basically an attitude. And the attitude is, I'm here to enrich your life. How can I enrich your life? And, and then it has appropriate behavior. One is words of affirmation. Got it. Using words to affirm the other person. You look nice in that outfit. Thank you. Really appreciate what you did. You know, one of the things I like about you, it's just affirming them with words. You know, there's an ancient Hebrew proverb that says life and death is in the power of the tongue. Yep. We can kill people, we can give them life by the way we talk to them. For some people, this is their primary love language. Mm -hmm. This is what really makes them feel love. And if they don't receive words of affirmation from you, their love tank will get empty. They will not feel loved, even though maybe you're washing the dishes and doing all these other things. So words of affirmation. Before you move, yeah. before, let me ask you a question on that. Maybe you can help me identify the right word. Placating yeah. is, is, hey dear, you look nice, is if you think that her love language is words of affirmation, is that somewhat placating or could it be? The words have to be sincere. Okay. The words you speak have to be sincere. Otherwise, we pick up on insincerity. So I think the words have to be sincere. And you can speak the words. You can also write the words. I guess you could sing the words. But for words people, the words are important. Why do you think that is? That it, it, obviously, it's not my love language. It's and so I, I, I have trouble. I have, she thinks she has all five, by the way, <laughs> I see. and wants me to fill all five of those tanks. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> I am at least quadlingual. <laughs> oh, my God. And so ultimately, <laughs> I must not need that or that isn't yeah, something he doesn't that because I, I don't quite get it. Can you help yeah. me get it better? Well, here, here's why we, we have difficulty. If, if our number five, the one that's least important to us, is our spouse's number one, we will have difficulty understanding. Why would that mean so much to yeah. you? Yeah. You know, uh, and, and that's why it's a learning curve. You have to learn how to do that. I remember a man who said to me, Dr. Chapman, my wife's love language is words of affirmation. I don't know how to say things. I can't say things like that to my wife. He said, I never heard words of affirmation growing up, and I don't know how to do that. Mm. I said, well, let me ask you this. Tell me three things you appreciate about your wife. He thought a minute, and he said, well, uh, she's a good cook. <laughs> She's a good mother, and she's a good school teacher. I said, okay. So I just took a sheet of paper, and I wrote out one sentence on each one of those. Like, for example, on the cooking. Say, honey, I haven't told you this, maybe ever, but I really appreciate all the meals you fixed for us. And I just wrote out one sentence. I said, go home and stand in front of a mirror and read these out loud to yourself. My twice God. a day this week and come back. He came back, I said, now can you say those three sentences without looking at your notes? He did, he stumbled a little bit, but he said them. I said, okay, here's your assignment. You just go home and say one of those, the next three weeks, one each week. You just pick the time of the day and you just say one of them each week. You come back. He came back. I said, did you do it? He said, yeah. He said, Doc Chapman? He said, when I got to the third one, my wife said, what's going on with you? <laughs> I've never heard you give me so many compliments. And he said, I just told her, well, honey, I'm, I'm really trying to learn how to, how to let you know how much I appreciate you. She said, that's wonderful. I love you. <laughs> he said, Doc Chavin, she hadn't said that in a long time. Wow. I'll write those out for you when we get home. <laughs> okay. So if somebody is sitting there viewing this and it's super uncomfortable right now on the couch because both Sorry. of their love tanks are empty. Yeah. And they are saying, yeah, that's okay for you. Uh, you know, you guys seem to, uh, you know, always be together. And, you know, it's, it's easy for you, but you don't understand. There's no. just no feeling there. Yeah. No. There's no feeling. I, I don't even feel like I can attempt to do this with some sense of sincerity. Yep. If I did it, it would be fake. What do you say about that? Love is an attitude with appropriate behavior. It doesn't begin with a feeling. 
falling in love begins with a feeling. You don't say one day, if you're single, you don't say one day, I think I'll fall in love today. No, you meet somebody, there's something about the way they look, the way they talk, the way they emote, that gives you an emotional tingle. I call it a tingle. And the more you're together, the more you want to be together. Uh, and we call it falling in love or being in love. It takes no work at all. It just, it's just a, just a, a, a phenomenon. But it has an average lifespan of two years. And we come down off the high. And this is where knowing the person's love language becomes extremely important. Because now it doesn't just happen. Now we've got to intentionally learn how to communicate love to the other person. And so uh, that's why I say in the Bible, love is not basically a feeling. It's basically an attitude. Mm -hmm. And the attitude is, I'm here to enrich your life. How can I enrich your life? And, and then it has appropriate behavior. See, God loved us and he sent Christ. Mm -hmm. He had an attitude of love. He cares about our well-being. He sent Christ to die for us so he could forgive us and still be a, a just and holy God. He expressed his love. I don't, I don't think God was sitting around having tingly feelings. Mm -hmm. but he, he loves us. He wants the best for us. Mm -hmm. So if we understand that, love begins with an attitude. And so we don't wait until we have warm feelings again for the other person. We say to God, Lord, I know you love them. I don't have love feelings for them, but I'm married to them or I'm their close friend or they're my grown son or daughter and I want to be your channel for loving them. Now, show me how to most effectively love them. Mm -hmm. And you, you move out with behavior based on your attitude. Then when you connect with them and they feel loved by you, they're far more likely to begin to reciprocate. And the feelings come back. Yeah, the feelings are important. We are emotional creatures, okay? God is emotional as well. You just read about God, you see all the emotions in God. We're emotional creatures, but love itself doesn't begin with the emotion. The attitude and the behavior stimulates the emotion. And the emotion comes back, maybe down the road. It might be three weeks, it might be three months, but the emotions come back after we've chosen to communicate love. Mm -hmm.